Skyward Sword has transformed tremendously over the past few months, ever since the discovery of the reverse bitmagic glitch. The game now has a ton of new sequence breaks, and some of the previous videos I made on elusive glitches in this game have been gracefully obsoleted. Of course, not everything has been figured out with regards to what may be possible to do in this game, and there are still some parts that tease us with how close we are to another major skip. So today, one tease I'd like to talk about is this platform which serves as the entrance to the Ancient Cistern. Why do I want to talk about this platform? Because it's currently the only required use for the Water Dragon scale in the entire Any% percent run. The Water Dragon scale is the item reward given to Link after he completes the Farron's Silent Realm. The scale gives Link the ability to dive and swim around underwater, whereas beforehand all he can do is swim slowly on the surface. Link also gains the ability to perform the spin move while swimming, and can use it to jump out of water and climb up ledges that would have previously been too high. The platform in front of the Ancient Cistern happens to be one of these ledges. As of right now, we can't skip this ledge, but what have we tried so far to overcome it? Well, thanks to the discovery of Farron Bit, we can access the Floria Waterfall area during Back in Time as well. This opens up the possibility of performing what's known as a Reverse Bit Warp onto the Floria Waterfall map. Unlike a regular Bit Warp, which takes save coordinates from Back in Time and applies them to the map on our file, a Reverse Bit Warp takes the save coordinates that we have on our file and applies them to a map which we load into after starting a file from Back in Time. So, in theory, all we need is a save statue which happens to have a set of coordinates that would place us in such an area on the Floria Waterfall map, which would allow us to get up onto this ledge without the use of the scale. Unfortunately, out of every possible save location in the game, precisely zero of them drop Link in a location that would allow us to get up onto the ledge. The coordinates for this map are in a somewhat weird place to begin with as Floria Waterfall is mapped as a subregion of the general Lake Floria area. Because of the way the map's coordinates are set, there are unfortunately no bird statue locations which line up in any capacity to help us up onto this ledge or the out-of-bounds collision on the general map. There are a few that get close, but miss landing in Lake Floria's out-of-bounds areas either by being horizontally too far out or vertically too low. Another possibility that has crossed every Glitch Hunter's mind before is the following. Wait a minute. There's a lily pad right here. Can't we just jump from the lily pad to the entrance? Ah, very good observation. Yes, this is something we can do. When the lily pad is in that position. Unfortunately, if we go to the Floria Waterfall early, we'll notice that this same lily pad either isn't here or is in a different position. The reason for this goes back to a topic I mentioned in the Sandship Boss Key video. Layers. Before entering the Ancient Cistern, Floria Waterfall can only be loaded on either Layer 1 or Layer 0. These layers do not have a lily pad appear in this position next to the ledge. It's only when Layer 2 gets activated does this fabled lily pad appear in a position next to the ledge. So how do we activate Layer 2? We have to enter the Ancient Cistern dungeon itself. Which means that all we have to do to skip this ledge is get up on the ledge. Thanks, Skyward Sword. Okay, so we have to get the Water Dragon scale. That can't be too bad, right? We can use Reverse Bit Magic to open up the Ferent Silent Realm, and then just go through the trial, which should only take a few minutes, and boom, we have the Water Dragon scale, correct? Eh, not quite. See, normally you're supposed to obtain the harp song Furore's Courage and use it to open up the Ferran trial. The action of playing the song we can skip using reverse bit magic. However, simply obtaining the song in our inventory also provides an important function for accessing the trial. Just like how the lily pad in front of the ancient cistern won't be there until Lake Floria Lair 2, the Farron Silent Realm gate can't appear unless Farron Woods is loaded with Lair 3, and the trigger for Lair 3 is having Furore's courage. So. We have map layers getting in our way not once, but twice, in our efforts to try and skip something related to the Water Dragon scale. Having to get both Furore's Courage and the Water Dragon scale combined takes more than 8 minutes, so it would cut quite another hefty chunk of time off the run if we could just figure out how to get on this ledge. The only other option for potentially skipping the Water Dragon scale is to simply skip the Ancient Cistern entirely 
as this would of course skip needing to get up onto this ledge to enter the cistern. However, in the current any% percent route, we are required to beat the ancient cistern to prevent a crash that would happen in the sealed grounds when fighting the imprisoned. But that's a topic for another video. Thus, Skyward Sword teases us with yet another potential skip which falls oh so short. However, I do like the fact that even with all these new skips we found over the past few months, there are still many potential places where time can be saved. If you liked this video and wish to watch others like it, which are actually obsolete now, feel free to watch the rest of the series. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.